Hello everybody and welcome to another Indie Game Spotlight. Today I bring you Many Land. Now this is an awesome little, uh, I guess you would call it a sandbox creative game where you you join a one big server where everyone creates the world. It's uh, If you've heard of Second Life, it is like that except with a Terraria 2D uh, atmosphere, I guess you would call it. Um, yeah, so yeah, if you take Second Life and Terraria and combine them, that's what this would get. Now, where this goes above and beyond as compared to uh, Terraria and games like Minecraft where you can create things, is those blocks are made by the developers and used to create those items. In this, you create everything. And what I mean by that is, you have a clean slate to design whatever you want. Now, it is made by blocks similar to Terraria and Minecraft, but you make those blocks with whatever colors and designs you want and yeah oh i just turned everything pink okay so i guess i gotta go to the second one and then i can throw another color on there but you get the idea i'm not a art artsy person so unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to create something for you but that is the idea behind this game it is a creative you know expression type game where there's no real goals there's just to have fun and create whatever you want i mean minecraft's a huge game and it's basically made its name based off this principle um, when you're done you name it obviously and you have pick of the type now this is what I really like you can have the type of item that you want obviously a solid is for grounds or walls something to land on and actually you know use as a platform whereas back is like portraits or anything you want on the wall maybe a sign where it doesn't interact with the avatars and then thing I don't really know um, there's so many here. A crumbling, if you land on it, it starts to crumble. So you can make like parkour maps with crumbling. You got liquid, you got slidey, you got moving, you got bouncy, you got pushing. But as you can see, I only have access to these bare minimum ones. To get access to these other ones, people need to thumbs up your creations. And that is such a good idea because it's obviously with a game like this, there's going to be a lot of griefers, and you want to give them the least amount of. Uh, things that are gonna affect the world as possible so if you like someone's let's just show you what I'm talking about we're gonna get rid of all this if you like someone's creation now as you can see someone used actually three blocks to make this wonderful table so you can right click the table Godiva made that and it was placed by Godiva so I'm gonna go to Godiva's profile give him a thumbs up con considering his stuff rocks so I've actually talked to the guy he was walking around um, introducing this game to uh, new players so there's a great little community here of uh, a very few people, and they are really, really helpful and really nice. And again, this is, this is a social game, so you do have the old chat to say hello and you know, whatever you want. But it's an awesome, cute little game, and we got a little teleport here. And this is like the main noob town. Now, see, there's there's a noob wandering around right there, and don't know where he's going. Oh, he he saw me. Maybe he's gonna talk to me. Oh, nope, he's gone. I think he just logged off. No, he's there. Whatever, doesn't matter. But everything you see here is made by the community. Um, actually, I don't know if the town is, to be honest. I'm not totally sure, but maybe just not the town. That might be uh, actually made by the developers. But you can see that once we start leaving, we come to creations made by the community. We got a little monkey, we got a creeper, we got another bouncy guy. These guys seem to be really popular around the map. Um, I don't know what this is. Okay, so it's taking me up into space, I guess, and... Uh, I, again, it's a bit messy right now. I'm hoping they can somehow, you know, clean it up. That was a big complaint for me with Minecraft as well. It really, if you wanted to play multiplayer, you had to deal with griefers, you know, breaking everything. And uh, it's, it's going to be like that in a creative-based game. But the world is endless in this game. So you can find a little spot somewhere. And if you actually want to create something nice, you can go there and create whatever you want. So I'll actually show you their idea behind the world. Let's, uh change to over here now again I was just reading this is the help thing so this, these are just the different types of uh, rocks and not rocks but uh, nodes I guess you would call them the, the creative things you got bouncy trampolines slidey so make it harder to turn or stop while running useful I ice blocks etc etc creatures so living things move a little bit um, yeah so just showing you that and then I wanted to show you what the world is like so this is where we are. We are in the inner ring. And just think of this as not actually a sphere, but just a circle. So the inner ring is for the noobs. This is where we started. And then you got these ring portals that go to the, 
the five plus uh, ranked people, so you can go over there. You can probably build over there if you were a really dedicated noob and you wanted to go visit it. You could probably just build a thing all the way over here. I'm not sure though, but what I'm trying to say and with um, this is this thing is vast and it's ever expanding just like Second Life. When there needs to be more spots, it just expands and that's really cool. I really like that. Um, always fun when you can just be creative and keep expanding, expanding and see the world grow from when you join to the later uh, intervals. But yeah, let's go around here, see what we can find. And I'll show you a few more things as we go. Oh, so these so these are the crumbling things. That's cool. I like that. And it looks like we got... I don't know what kind of writing that is. Is that... I have no idea. Um, so maybe some different languages in this game. I don't know. Whoa, okay. So that that's a little teleporter door, as you can see. You know what? That'd be really fun to make like a portal-type little mini-game for this or something. I'm um, assuming this is a ladder, yes. Keep going up here, I guess, and see... What is up? Oh god, we got fire. I wonder if that actually burns you. Oh, okay, I killed myself. Fire didn't kill me, but I did kill myself. <laughs> so, when you die, you spawn at the ground below you. So, this was obviously the closest place for me to spawn from where I fell, I guess. And um, that's where I went. I'll actually show you another cool feature as well. You can press F4, which basically takes a screenshot. And... It's not only a screenshot, but it's a spawn point. So if you're wandering around and you see something you really like, you save this screenshot to your profile, and others will see it in your profile. And then you can teleport there for a later use, for whatever reason it may be. Maybe you got lost and you want to go back to your house, or what the hell happened there? Holy crap. Oh, there's little blocks going around. I didn't know you could move them. That's cool. Um, I'm going to kill myself here if I don't... Okay, I'm just going to hopefully land somewhere, unless I land back on that block. That would be great. And we'll just wander, show you the game, show you a bit more. There's Obviously, there's not much community yet. This game was just announced on uh, Reddit today. I actually found it. I was lucky. Um, I, I did play it for five minutes or so, and I said, what the hell is this? And then I said, you know what, let, let me give me this game more time to sink in. And I realized that this game can be huge if it's given to the right audience. Um, shoot, I don't have any blocks to create anything, so I might be stuck here. Actually, I do have that picture, so we'll just use that. Um, oh, I don't want to take another picture. So we'll go to my profile. I've never actually done this, so bear with me if I do it wrong. And do I just click it? Oh, yeah, I just double-click it, and bam, I am back at a safe spot. So definitely when you're starting out, I've gotten lost like ten times now. Make a few pictures of spots you're comfortable with, and... Spots where if you get lost or if you get stuck somewhere, because it is possible, very possible to get stuck somewhere. So just make something and then you'll be fine and you won't have to worry about getting lost. We got some little fairies over here. Oh, this is nice. I like this cartoony art style. Whoever made this. It's probably the same guy. It seems like there's one guy that's done a lot of this. Yeah, good Godiva. Props to you, man, for really setting this game up for uh, what it is can become. I, I wonder if he made... I'm just curious to see how much of it he made, because he seems to be really dedicated to this game, and I, I appreciate that about people. Yeah, see, he's creating pretty much everything so far. Again, this is a new game. I think he was in, like, early beta or something, so I'm assuming. Oh my god, we got, like, Mario Land. Uh, is that Mario, or is it Minecraft? I'm getting confused with the both. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to show you. Oh, crap. So, if you see an item you like, you don't have to create things either. I See, as you can see on my, my right bar, I've been picking up items that I see that I like want to use. So, see, say that you like this monkey and you want to put it in your house or whatever you're creating. You just drag him onto this bar. And then you can place it. So, I'll put a monkey right beside this monkey. And then we'll see. This one was uh, created and placed by Godiva. But, as you can see, this one was placed by me. So, it's still, you know showing who made it but it's also showing who planted it so i really like that idea i really like the fact that you can just wander around and snack snack um snatch up other people's uh creations and use them for whatever you're building it's not only helping the the creator but it's helping you as well because obviously i cannot make anything near some of the things that these people make but if, if I wander around enough and find enough things, I can definitely make a really, really, really nice house with just my creation. Well, not my creations, their creations. 
but yeah, as you can see, I made um, a wonderful sign that says hi. I don't even want to put it in the map because I'm embarrassed by how <laughs> bad it is. And then I tried to make a trampoline, but I realized I don't... I'm not high enough level yet to use uh, the bouncy blocks, so I just left it there. I'm actually kind of proud of that trampoline. It came out pretty nice. And we are back at the inner ring where we started. But yeah, guys, that is Miniland. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to play it, the link will be down below. It's totally free. You don't even need to make an account. Just uh, log in with Google or Facebook. And um, he, the developer said he's not going to spam you or anything. It was just done like that so you don't have to register for another game. Now, hopefully he has a register system in, in, later, in a later time. But for now, that is the only way to log in is either Google or Facebook. But yeah, it's no big deal. So yeah, guys, this is uh, Manyland, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.